We begin tonight with a story that's almost too incredible to believe. There's been a remarkable discovery in the mysterious death of a Florida couple and the disappearance of their baby. West 2's Gail Pascal Brown reports it's been 42 years since this saga began. Austin, Texas officials made this big announcement Wednesday. I'm excited to announce that baby Holly has been located alive and well 42 years later. But closer to home in Edgewater, Florida, this family's excitement. I said, oh my God, this is a gift from heaven. It's Junior's birthday. You oh. know? Oh, I was just so ecstatic. Donna Casasanta learned Tuesday that her grandchild pictured here as a baby is alive and living in Oklahoma. She and Debbie Brooks, the baby's aunt, had a Zoom call reunion. I kept thinking, I used to hold her as a little baby, you know, and and I just wanted to put my arms around her. Holly Marie is the daughter of Tina and Harold Klaus, Donna's son and Debbie's brother. They called him Junior. The couple and their infant daughter, Holly Marie, had moved from New Smyrna Beach to Texas in 1980, and the last time family heard from them was in October of that year. Tina Lynn Klaus and Harold Dean Klaus were likely murdered between December 1980 or early January 1981. Their bodies were found off of Wallaceville Road in Harris County, Texas. Their remains were not identified until last year through genetic testing. It's very heartbreaking knowing that they had been killed that long ago and we never knew it. Mm -hmm. You know, their bodies just dumped in the woods. Baby Holly was not with the remains. Members of a nomadic religious group left Baby Holly at a church in Arizona. She was later adopted. Holly's family hopes to meet her soon in person. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children is going to pay for that reunion. She's overwhelmed, I'll yeah. say and that um, she needs time to process all this. We're grateful that we found her, uh, but we must continue with our purpose of finding who murdered this couple. I'm Gail Pascal Brown, West 2 News.